therapy of uh, patients with uh, renal cell carcinoma. Esteemed colleagues, uh, the uh, rectum uh, cancer is one of the most widespread diseases. In 2018, we, the world registered about 4.4 percent uh, patients with that disease uh, among all cancer cases in Russia, and the mortality was 0.6 percent, and that ranks six in the rating of tumors. And the treatment of patients uh, with a locally advanced uh, cancer is a complex, uh, complex uh, problem. Uh, the number of such patients uh, is uh, uh, 40% of uh, all the patients with a rectum cancer. It is recommended to use teams of different experts in order to comprehensively treat this group of patients. Uh, the golden standard uh, for treating uh, patients with locally advanced uh, rectum cancer by the recommendation of NCCN and the Russian Association of Oncologists is uh, the uh, radiotherapy in combination with chemotherapy with uh, fluoropyrimidines and it is recommended that the regional uh, dose is uh, 1.8 to 2 grays and if you have uh, modern equation, uh, equipment, you can uh, raise the dose to 58 gray. A modern tendency is to reduce uh, the length of the course of a distant uh, radiotherapy because uh, of the COVID. This tendency has become very visible and demands that the time of the treatment is abridged and the block-in center proposed a new methodology for a prolonged uh, treatment of uh, local advanced rectum cancer, a uh, hyperfraction course, uh, three fractions a week, uh, four grays, uh, up to 32 grays on the regional uh, lymphous nodes and 40 grays or up to 56 uh, grays uh, onto the um, uh, initial, uh, primary and tumor and lesions. The purpose of uh, the presentation is to compare the standard and hyperfractional courses of radiotherapy, and that is for the patients who get neoadjuvant uh, chemo radiotherapy for locally advanced rectum cancer from the oncological position and from the point stand of point of economic and toxic uh, standpoints. Uh, we studied 150 patients, of which uh, the main group got uh, hyperfractioned uh, radiotherapy in combination with capacetabine uh, twice a day, 160, uh, 1,650 uh, grams. And the control group uh, had a standard uh, treatment method. We see that both in the control group and in the main group of patients, and those were patients with hyperfraction uh, radiotherapy, uh, about 40% uh, had it in the 
Nizhny ampullar section, they differed in the localization of uh, tumor in uh, age and other uh, <coughs> attributes. We needed uh, a study before we treated those patients, and it showed that over 60% of the patients in both groups the uh, size of the tumor was two to five uh, centimeters. Lots of patients had a positive CRM. Uh, one third of the patients in each group, the infiltration of the tumor, or the tumor grew into other organs to the stage of 4B morphologically. Uh, that was adenocarcinoma, uh, mostly uh, highly differentiated. In each group, there was uh, moderately differentiated. We, the plan of treatment plan, uh, plan is of the hyperfractioned uh, treatment is on the left, and the standard is on the right. We see that uh, the hyperfraction therapy lasts 22 days and the standard course 38 days, which is <coughs> two weeks. More than hyperfraction course. Uh, assessing the capacity of one linear accelerator to be 50 patients a day, we can see in our calculations that during one year, the course of hyperfraction uh, therapy is applicable to 810 patients, while the standard course only 470. And uh, actually, it will be It's very important that uh, the operation uh, of the equipment will also be less. Uh, the most patients got uh, chemotherapy before uh, the new adjuvant uh, RT and during it. And uh, they got about uh, four to eight sur surgeries. The regress tumor regressions was assessed using uh, the regression scale, a TRG, TRG1 is the total replacement of the volume with fibrosis, TRG2 replacement by over by 50%. TRG5 is absence of tumor regression. The uh, patients with the localization of tumor in the distal and local lower ambular uh, section, it, what was important was uh, the distance between the distal uh, uh, boundary of uh, the uh, tumor and the endocrital line and the uh, size of the uh, tumor, which actually affected the possibility of surgery. And we see that the distance between the distal boundary of the tumor and the inoculatal line has decreased by 8 millimeters, slightly more than that, and the size of the tumor re reduced by 13 millimeters, which is much better than in the control group. Well, but that's uh, still preliminary. The uh, degree of the tumor regression with pathohistological study, well, first and the third degree, well, 
the response uh, was noted in 22 percent of the uh, patients uh, with the new course and 19 on the control group and the full pathomorphological response was 18% uh, in the uh, new mm, uh, tr uh, group that was treated by a new method and uh, less than that. Well, at the therapeutic pathomorphosis in the compared group at the stage of Three uh, was 58 percent compared to 29 percent in the uh, invasion. Uh, so the invasion was much smaller, and that correlates with the higher degree of uh, the pathomorphosis. We also see that the. G1, G2 differentiation of the tumor compared with the G3, G4 differentiation degree also correlates with a higher frequency of expressed pathomorphosis of 3 and 4. Within 70 patients in the main group and 60 patients of the control group during the MRI, we found a decrease of the clinical stage, which allows us to see the positive effect of the new adjuvant course. As for the frequency and degree of hematological toxicity, We did not see any difference, and we did not see uh, in the difference in a degree and uh, the uh, frequency of uh, uh, radio damage. And we didn't see any difference between the two groups. The technology that we used was multi. Uh, our team, it did not. Three uh, local relapses were found on average in 4% of uh, patients in both groups. In the main group, 28% of the patients developed metastasis and 34% in the control group. We did a one-factor dispersed analysis and we saw that the factor of risk for the metastasis development was a uh, damage to the uh, lymph nodes, a deeper invasion, uh, the greater uh, differentiation of the tumors G3, G4, and in these patients there was no difference in the three-year survival uh, and their progression of survival. The frequency of uh, radio damage in both groups was about 8%. And the result of the research showed that both in the main and in the control group, the three-year survival and survival without progression and the frequency of relapses did not differ. And the length of the prolonged course in the main group was 
two weeks shorter than in the standard course, which, of course, improves the quality of life and also reduces the load on equipment. As for the frequency and the expression of uh, post-radial complications and hematological toxicity, the results did not differ between the groups, and that means that the impact was and the negative impact was the same between the two groups compared. Thank you.